Hi, this is Rory Singh from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. I think I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make my life's mission now. I'm going to make multiple channels. I'm going to make multiple channels, different IPs all over the world. I'm just going to go in different locations. I'm going to keep creating YouTube channels. I think YouTube YouTube's one of the biggest scams, right? They're they're not doing things properly. So we'll go over to YouTube, YouTube.com. What I'm thinking, right? Um, I'm thinking the bastards should get loaded a little faster. Oxy, I'm going to type the scam in here. Oxycorp review, right? And there's a lot of affiliates. I just did a video on this quickly. A lot of affiliates promoting scams. And even some of the admins are promoting scams on YouTube. YouTube knows. They don't care. BitConnect was around, right? USI Tech, some of the biggest that took like billions and billions of dollars people's money collectively but there is something else going on with youtube on the back end i think youtube i think youtube if they delete this video i'm going to make another one if they delete the channel i'm going to make i'm going to make multiple channels i'm just going to keep talking about this i'm enjoying talking about this stuff i'm just going to keep pounding out videos on different channels different ips all over the world i'll get family and friends youtube channels i'll just keep making videos there um, now, they have a, a sc schemey, scammy company called Oxycorp, and uh, they're doing a lot of bullshit. And I think on the back end, some of those greedy pricks over at YouTube are secretly taking money from these scammers, right? Because if you look at it, look, they're allowed to promote stuff. Uh, I promote legitimate stuff, doesn't steal people's money. And I tell people, hey, you got to go out there and you got to become an affiliate and you got to learn skill sets. Most people don't want to do that stuff. They just want to, but then they get mad when they lose money and they keep investing. And that, that's something stupid. Uh, video for another day. I'm not here to talk about the stupid mistakes people make. I'm here to talk about YouTube, a big corporation. Were they started in a garage? I think these bastards need to go back into a garage. I think they really need to look into their company and how they are running it, right? They're doing a lot of skimmy stuff. But one of the biggest things that I see is that they're allowing people to make fake claims on other people's legitimate videos. They don't even care <coughs> about legitimate creators. They don't care. All YouTube cares about is themselves. If anyone puts a complaint in on, on videos before they were actually reviewing them, but since COVID-19, uh, you know, came in, I don't know what's going on. They got really worse. It's one of the worst places uh, to actually create content. But what I'm thinking is on the back end, I think that YouTube really needs their management. I know they're, they're greedy, but they still really should look into the people that they're hiring, right? And allowing to run their platform. And even with reviews, I'm thinking, that those bastards need to pull their heads out of their asses and actually pay attention pay attention to all the fuckery that's going on and don't allow scams to be promoted on your on your platform that's what i'm thinking wouldn't that make any sense